Yeah. So when two months ago, right, you had that whole forced plantar flexion thing, and you had some discomfort here and the back of the ankle. So since it's been two months, like you had that experience, and um, the nociceptors in the area sent impulses up to your spinal cord, which were uncomfortable. Um, but since it's been two months, you've also um, there's been change in your spinal cord and in your brain, so that some of the sensation you're feeling here is maintained. Some of the discomfort is being maintained in your brain. Yeah. So, uh, so when you're saying like, what can we do about it? It's um. So immediately, what I hear in my own mind is something like, "Oh, well, if we just make it feel good, like maybe that's not going to help or whatever, right?" But are we really going to help it? If it feels good when I'm touching you or when your partner is, then that actually changes something in your brain. So it actually starts to make inroads into the representation of the discomfort of your foot. So how we handle you that basically you feel. I mean, it's nice if you feel really like, oh, you know, I feel really, oh, Doug's awesome, he's going to help me. I mean, that's great. Um, but if you just feel like, wow, this person, you know, is really paying attention to me and, um, you know, sort of with me and curious about it, that helps to change the representation in your brain as well. So how I'm touching her and what I'm saying, I'm addressing the foot and the cord and your, your mind as well. So... What I want to do is I want, when I'm handling you, I want to create sensation so that you feel this part of your body in a way that um, doesn't hurt for a change. And then as we engage different elements, like as you, you know, you had this uh, overload here, so everything gets stretched. So there's kind of a, you're kind of, you're kind of overstretched and uncomfortable. So when I handle that tissue, I'm creating a different sensory experience. So I'm, I'm doing a couple things at once, at least. So I'm evaluating, you know, and I'm comparing, you know, sort of some separation or some gaps in here. And I'm experimenting. This is the retinacular lift kind of thing. So what do you feel as I lift you like this? Yeah. So I'm doing it in a way, I'm grabbing enough tissue that it's a more or less pleasant experience. If I'm like, oh my God, it's coming apart there, and I'm going to fix that for you, then there's a mixture of sensation. <laughs> you can feel the tissues engage, but you can also feel threat. When I do that, I may, be, I may actually be shifting the tissue so it's in a better place, but I'm creating a sensation of threat in you. So I'm, I'm helping this, but I'm reinforcing in your mind. I'm digging ruts in your mind that perpetuate the, the discomfort of the experience. So rather than do that, I'm, doing, I'm picking enough tissue that I'm actually going to have a physical effect, but I'm doing it in a way that um, is pleasant for you. So I'm lifting these retinacula. And as we do that, I'm also starting to dorsiflex your foot. Okay, so as things are stretched here and they're all gummed together on the sides there. So we lift there, we come around the sides, and basically, so say, yeah, yeah, like this was way too much for you. Let me bring you back to neutral. So I'll help sort of shape the retinacula and restore them. Again, it's all like super pleasant stuff. So that's what I would be working with. And then in the back, some of that sensation people feel is often like it's a mechanical thing, where there's just not enough space in the joint back there. So the answer for that kind of thing is some kind of a joint move. You know, um, which is again is a structural approach and fixate a fix of the issue, but it doesn't affect it's nothing with the central nervous system. So again, when I work on the back, I'm going to be drawing this tissue down. I'm doing it in a pleasant way again. So I'm creating that pleasant sensory experience, and eventually, as I'm doing that, then I want to bring um, the talus in fear. The talus is like way upstairs there. So I just work in this kind of sustained way, and then eventually, you know, it's not going to be right now, but eventually I'm going to be able to hold on to the talus and I'll drag it. So then I've got this whole thing where I, I restore a sense of, um, of neutral for you, 
and it's like, oh, my foot feels kind of safe and supported and normal again. So that's that's the first approach I'd have to that. So I'd like you to play with that. And then what we're doing today is we're going to be working with, um, uh, I think it's the next exercise or so, we're going to work with the tibial nerve here and the sural nerve here. So this is a great preparation for that. So we'll work with those nerves and we're going to shuttle them back and forth and so on. So that'll help with um, any physical um, you know, restrictions in those nerves and adherences with stuff. And because we're going to be moving your ankle in these ways, it's not uncomfortable and it feels connected, it's going to help you know, bring you back into this part of your body and reset the whole thing. Yay! Yeah. Okay, so have a seat.